And so, it begins. Today, I'm building a rust base hidden somewhere in the mountaintops. The server is 10 hours old, server population, over 600 players. Some incredibly rich, and some about ready to lose it all. But for me, my journey was just beginning. With no time to waste, I immediately started making my way north to a mountain located in the perfect spot for my solo adventure. But will I be hidden enough to survive wipe day versus the clans that run the area? Well, you'll just have to wait and find out. We'll give this guy a blessing right here. I'll put all my corn and pumpkins around his bag. All right, now he'll know to spawn there for some food. Okay, that mountain looks, that looks awesome. That's, wait, that's not the mountain. Okay, that's not my mountain. It could be. Oh, decisions, decisions. What mountain do I want? That one looks pretty awesome. Like that's, that's pretty big. Okay, sleeping bag down a while. Dead pig right here. I'll take this. It's always nice to take your gifts from the rust god, boys. If you see a dead pig, you take that thing. That is a gift, and you be grateful for it. I was gonna go farm a little bit while it was nighttime, but there's too many animals around here. I'm just gonna go hang out in fishing village for a minute. At the first sign of daylight, I left the safety of fishing village and began collecting everything I could. I'm gonna farm a couple nodes and make my way towards outpost and see if I can't get myself a little start. Oh, I knew it. Pick up, please. Perfect time, perfect time, bro. All right, let's try this again. I decided just to farm the area where I wanted to build. Now my indecisiveness makes doing these no plan builds pretty difficult, which means I often play out of the same base. But today, I wanted something different. So after a lot of wood and broken tools later, I met my own self in the middle, deciding to build my usual starter, but all the expansions would be totally different. All right, let's go farm in a little bit here. We wasted a lot of our resources and broke most of our tools. <laughs> We broke multiple sets of tools, but we got something down, and I'm just gonna go for it. I'm gonna grab these nodes that are right here while they're here, because these sulfurs are gonna be valuable. I'm actually gonna depot this and wait a second, because there's a tool crate on that tower over there. So maybe we go check that out. And uh, we'll take this little bit of stuff we have to ferry terminal. Maybe we can even get a, a better tool. Moment of truth. What are we getting? <laughs> no way. We got a good farming tool. All right. Now we can go properly hit those nodes. We're upgrading that base. I think we're going to go for a sneak attack. Why not? How many hits, man? I should have tried to click authorize on his TC because then I could have like went back and built a jump up or something. Let's head in the ferry terminal here and see if we can get our hands on the scrapper. Someone's using the scrapper right now. Got him. Hundred and eighty one cloth, that's what I'm talking about. Let's get out of here. And we've made it home, boys. Let's go. With that cloth, we have a little more security now, because if I die, we can make another weapon. Got two tool crates on this tower here. I'm gonna grab them. It's actually just one. That was a brown crate. But we'll take the bear rug. Got a crate in here. Got a fuse. Not bad. Here got jumping. He's pissed. He got a projectile invalid on me for sure. He got a you died first. Shit, he's juice. Gotta go back to base already, boys. I got already had everything scrapped up. And I don't know. I don't know why he pushed me. He got greedy. Let's go ahead and get all this depot. That guy was looking real good. I'm thinking maybe we head back there again. I know there was crates around. What's shit in the scrapper? We got a boat pulled up here. I wonder if we should take that boat out anywhere. Oh my god, I'm chatting it up today. We're getting a rabby BP, guys. We got to go back to base right now. I was going to buy one of them with sulfur, but we can just research it now. 
That was a pretty good couple of runs there, guys. We got a lot of a lot of stuff we needed. Got another box place for now. And put everything away. Thinking it's time we farm up and try to expand this base a little bit. Something like this might be pretty cool. Jump up there. Yeah, I think I'm fine with this. We'll start upgrading. Probably leave these wood in case I decide I want to cut them out because I don't really know the exact plan yet. I don't want to upgrade those ones. I want to leave this like this for the opportunity that maybe we can do a refinery in there. With the floor plan figured out, I began the first of many upgrades to my cliff base. When I was finished, I grabbed the boat I seen earlier at Ferry Terminal and began farming the water for components. Oh, we got a jackhammer first crate. Let's go, guys. That's, that's awesome. It's always nice when you find a free jackhammer. I made my way across the ocean, hitting every loot pile I could find. I stopped at Lighthouse to use the scrapper before making the trip back to base. All right, let's get out of here. Weapon flashlight, I'll take that. Nice BP to have. And we've made it back home. That trip out with the boat was definitely worth it. Go ahead and craft a workbench. And we'll make our first furnace of the wipe. We don't have much wood to put in it, but we've got a furnace. And let's get some of these placed for the lighting. And I think I'm gonna spend my scrap on the tech tree here. Get some blueprints. Excited to see what I could come up with, I was ready to get back to building my base. I knew I was probably going to be wasting a ton of wood due to not being able to make up my mind, but that was all part of the adventure. I don't know how I feel about this, guys. This just seems excessive. Okay, I think I might have just came up with a new game plan. How are we feeling about that? I think that's kind of cool, and then my way down will be right here. That'll be upgraded to stone. Yeah. Oh, I like that little shooting floor. Yeah, that's perfect there. That's a great addition to the base. Yeah, I think I'm happy with this. Let's go ahead and take that jackhammer for a roam real quick and get a whole bunch of stone. I hear a wolf right here. It's probably worth killing. Turn that into a wolf head right now. All right, that should be plenty of stone to do a couple upgrades. Oh, guy creeping my base. Killed him. I'm just gonna F1 kill and spawn on my outer bag. I don't have loot room in here to put this all away, and I'm low health anyways. Oh my god. He's rich. Damn, that's a hell of a fine, boys. He was farming too. He had a fucking extra jackhammer. Hell yeah. Man, I need I need to get some wood. I'm gonna throw all this on the ground real quick and go grab a tree. A large box crafted here. He's back outside. I'm gonna be quiet in here. He could very easily be a farmer for a team and we might, we might be getting raided. Semi-pistol. He didn't even have a rabbit. That was a semi-pistol. All right, let's get out of here with a bunch of this stone, and uh, I need to seal that roof so we can cut it. Well, that shooting floor worked, and it's not even finished. Oh, we got a Maltos? Oh, he was coming over to Maltov raid me. What an idiot. 
I'm not Molotov rateable, my friend. The Molotovs were a friendly reminder to make sure my base was consistently being upgraded because soon it could be rockets instead. They were also a very helpful BP that I didn't plan on having for a while. Shooting floor one, random guy on my mountain, zero. I was thinking about doing like vending machine storage there. But honestly, I can probably like, I feel like I can probably fit like actual boxes in here. I can probably put like a little sh shelf maybe. I don't know if I can do a shelf. I can probably fit more loot room in here than just a vending machine. With a new game plan, I began chopping the door frames I left wooden earlier in the wipe. Little did I know, this was gonna cause one major problem for my base. All right, I'm gonna grab these Molotovs that uh, our neighbor, whoever that guy was, was so nice and courteous to bless us with. And I'm gonna go do some raiding. Okay, so something I broke was an issue. Has to be this one here, right? So like this has to be, be like a frame there, I'm thinking. Oh, we're actually really screwed. I'm gonna have to, wait, hold on, maybe not. I don't know. Let's go raid. I'll worry about that later. Let's see what's behind door number one. Actually, I can check. See, TC, good enough for me. Oh, that was a metal door. That's not even a TC. I'm a fucking idiot. I'm dumb. It wasn't a TC. All right, we check this one. Decent bit of wood. Grab five. I'm gonna go check out that base that uh, we seen get built earlier. Oh, he's in here. All right, we out. Get another box crafted real quick. All right, let me grab my jackhammers and bring my workbench upstairs. I gotta fix that wall. Come outside farming. I need that. Quick and easy. Oh man. It's not a bad find. And now it works, okay. I need to go check that out. The way my luck's been going on here, I'm probably gonna go take that sir. One dead. Oh no, I overpeaked, I overpeaked, I can go back. I got more guns, one's full dead. He didn't go down, did he? I hit him to six. No, oh, I choked it, boys. That was a sorry too. Oh man, the Mad Hatter. That's the guy. That's the first guy I killed. It was getting late, so I decided to honeycomb my base, hopefully increasing my chances of still having it in the morning. And after a few pretty successful hours, my first day was coming to an end. Guys, I've just spawned in. There's somebody right outside of my base, Jackhammer. Let's go see if we can do anything. I was planning on farming, guys. That was my plan. I was gonna start off with a farm run. He's hitting my nodes. Okay, I'm pretty sure that's new. That's definitely upgraded a little bit. Oh, there goes the guy. <laughs> oh my god, what a dumb guy. Oh, he's fresh bone. <laughs> Pick him up. We'll take a trip down here in the ferry terminal and see if 
anybody's down here. We do need a lot of scraps still, so that's probably what I should focus on for a little bit. With the server getting a little old now, I feel I'm probably gonna have to up my firepower. With the server getting older by the minute, all the clans and big teams alike were almost certainly finished with their tier 3 workbench. So I shifted my focus during the early hours to gathering scrap, hopefully making sure I'm not falling too far behind. Fairy Terminal is a pretty cool monument. I don't play it a ton, but it's not bad at all. Good bit of stuff around here. There's usually a fair bit of people around here too. It's kind of like an upgraded gas station. Got players around. Headshot shot that guy for a shot. I needed that. I want one down. All right, let's get out of here. And we've made it back home. You really only have one chance to get the first run of the day to be successful. And that looks like a pretty good run to me. What is that? I'm gonna test that shotgun trap, because if that's not empty, that's worth raiding. Couple guys on top of gas station there. I think we're gonna push this fight, why not? Airdrop, let me get out of here with that. Is that wolf actually chasing me? Come on. Hey, let's go. We got a free airdrop. Let me see what we got. I wanna I wanna get the rest of my furnaces made. At least another one. We at least need two. I'm gonna let him break this. I don't know if there's any loot in there, but I'm gonna let him break it and then I'm gonna kill him. It's getting pretty low now. Bunch of food. I'll I'll take the food. Oh, he's in there yelling. I don't even know what he's saying. I probably gave that man a heart attack. We have made it home safely with the food. Not seeing anybody around here yet. I definitely heard a water pipe in here. Up oh, there goes a guy. He's climbing up top to where I'm at right now. He didn't see me. He's rich. I mean, we'll do him the honors. We'll go ahead and finish the barrels for him. I think we can probably afford to get another box or two around here. Oh, we gotta move the bear rug out to the cozy zone. That can't be in here. Gotta be out here. Yeah. Seen a guy over at Scrapper there. Using this rope here is actually my favorite way to enter Fairy Terminal. Sometimes it can leave you in the open, but other times it leaves you in a good spot. I think we just missed that guy. I think he's leaving. There's a guy running right there. He's gonna hide in that grass with his, with his DB. There he is. He's just grubbing. He's just giving away my location. Another crate back here. Let's get that before we go. Oh, there's one up there, too. I'm going to get all of these. Shotgun trap, diving tank. Another one right there. Metal detector. I probably will not be using that. So I figured out this jump here, it works if you look down real quick. You can get up there. So that jumps, like, quick and easy. And then someone placed us a ladder over here as well. Now we arrive back at home. I'm gonna grab the jackhammer. I'm gonna do a little bit of farming. 
I know I've seen quite a few nodes down there near that tower. Here, guy above me. Oh, salvage axe from him. I'll take that. I want to get enough stone that I can take a trip to outpost and trade it for wood. Going after that guy. Got a bunch of stuff. Get moving on. That's plenty of stone to trade in now. It's probably just probably too much to trade in. All right, that is another run made back home uncontested. I'm gonna go outside here with some wood, and I'm gonna try to get inspired. Figure out what I want to do with the rest of this base. I think I might like shooting floor this area. Guy gets his first side of the wipe and goes straight to his roof, man. I'm not sure if that's high enough to work with a double door in it or not. I think that's coming along nice. I just have to go farm up some stone and uh, start doing some upgrades, but I'm happy with that. I farmed my area, getting all the nodes I could find. When I was done, I had enough sulfur cooked up to start raiding the base I had seen earlier. Come on, four good ones. Nice bit of components there. The electric furnace broke too, which sucks. We'll get these components put away and uh, we're gonna go finish off that base. Fucking knew there were gonna be people in there. Oh, I knew it. I died with my satchels and they didn't stick around to finish the raid. So that boom and my kit that went with it was gone for good. But I'd be back in a little bit to finish the raid. But for now, it was on to the next adventure and things were about to get really exciting. I got their codes. They're locked in their base. I got their fucking codes. I literally yoinked their codes, boys. That death don't even matter. I got their codes. Oh, they demolished something. They're out. Never mind. They just built the base. They just built the base. Never mind. The death matters a little bit now. I gotta go take a look. I'm running back naked. I gotta go see what's happening there. Hold on. What is this? Hold on, boys. Side mission real quick. I just stumbled upon something goofy. That front door's not even locked, is it? Yeah, it is. Okay. Side mission completed, let's get back to main. If they were able to demolish, what's the chances that they just built the base? After two letdowns in a row, I did one of the only things you can do as a solo to make sure you don't lose your motivation for the wipe. I took a quick break, grabbed a drink and a jackhammer, and began farming my mountain once again. Dying in rust almost never feels good, but getting into a cycle of rage roaming your remaining kits is almost never the answer to enjoying the game. Relax for a little bit and let the wipe play out how it's supposed to play out. When I was done farming, I took a trip to the outpost to scrap some components and trade sulfur for a refinery. Ah, oh, let's go! We made it back home. Wait, that was like an awesome run. We got a ton of stuff. Get all of that crude oil cooking up. And now we should have enough boom finish that we can go complete that raid. So I definitely want to finish that. PC's unlocked. Oh yeah, I knew it. Oh man. Oh man. What's that? One, two, three, four, five, six, sixty-eight hundred. Just over seven thousand sulfur. I probably profited like twelve hundred sulfur plus the plus the satchel there. I think, which is great. I mean, I made all my boom back and made made some. Like I can't ask for anything, but we got one hundred and seventy-five high quality. Like this was insane. All right, first run is secured.
I just noticed the top of that guy's base is twig. I gotta go check that out. Someone up here farming our nodes. Get a little bit on him. Yeah, it's probably two doors. You guys gotta admit, this base is kinda cozy. Okay, so the battery isn't gonna quite fit how I want it to, but I think... I think that should be fine, and then if I want to, I could probably place, like, another little box back there, but I don't think we're even gonna need I it. I researched electric furnaces and all parts needed to automate a smelting system, but just as I was about to hook up my power, the wipe had other plans in store. Up until now, we haven't really made any serious enemies, but one bad interaction is enough to set the tone for the remainder of the wipe. Here's someone outside again. Hello? Someone outside of my base? Who is that? Who go with that? No. What's up? No, I Not by my friend. I am neighbor. Are you friendly? Yes. Hello, hello. Hello. I solo player. Solo, yes. God, better hurry up and get out of here. Ah! Goodbye. So I die there? I don't think so. Oh. We gotta figure out where this guy lives. You see, guys, you try to be nice on Russ, and then you just, you get ruined. Like, you, you can't be nice. You can't trust anybody. Everybody has to die. That's just how it is. Let's go try to find where he came from. He came from above us. Well, that hurt. Yeah, I think he might be right here. I wasn't entirely sure if this base was his, but if we at least lived on the same mountain, I knew it wouldn't be hard to find where he was coming from. While waiting to see his next move, I took some time to place and automate the electric furnaces I researched earlier. And that guy's back outside. I'm gonna call him over again to kill him. Yo, bro! Coca-Cola, is that you? Kill his fucking ass. Yeah, he lives there. I want to go back over there, but I want to take this ladder with me in case he comes on his roof. I think that was him again. Where'd his body go? Did it fall down as soon as I looked away? Yeah, it did. Yeah, it's him again. Look at him over there camping my base already. I'm glad I came this way. What's nice about having that automated smelting system, all my stuff is cooking right now. So like, even though we're kind of doing this door camping grubby stuff, like I'm still getting stuff done at my base, like. Eh. Pretty sure I'm winning this uh, little grubbing battle, boys. I think I think I'm winning this. So there's going to be one door, a garage door, probably another garage door. It probably goes that way. So TC's probably right here. Happy with the revenge I got, I decided it was time to move on. Still needing scrap to research items for my base, I decided to go to Fairy Terminal again. Okay, he's at the scrapper. He's at the scrapper. More than one. Three of them.
I'm not sure where the other guy's at, but I think I'm just gonna try to get out of here. Oh, I killed him. The guy with like all the loot pushed me, that's crazy. I'm gonna dump this in my comms chest for now. I wanna go right back out to get that extra kit. I think that guy's name is Coco Pepsi. I wonder if he's teammates with Coca Cola. During the nighttime, I took a trip to the outpost to trade stone for wood and to buy a sawing garage door for sulfur. These garage doors would give me much needed protection for while I was offline, and knowing I had at least one person mad at me, I figured upgrading the most vulnerable parts of my base to armored was much needed. My day too was coming to an end. I closed my doors and logged off in my core with a slight worry that my base would no longer be around in the morning. Alright, it appears like everything's good. It's gonna be my final day on the server, so we're gonna have to get a lot of things done. It's gonna be a big day today. With the plan of revenge still fresh on my mind, I decided to take a trip to our friendly neighbor's base, and I was shocked to see what happened in the few hours I was away. It looks like Coco or whatever, it looks like he upgraded his, his base, he got his compound down, but it doesn't seem like he actually upgraded like very much. Um, this is interesting guys. His stone is actually decaying. He did upgrade a little bit. But his stone's decaying? We're gonna have to keep like a really close eye on this. We're about to die from starvation. But yeah, he doesn't look like he's raided. He just simply doesn't have stone in his TC. We are gonna be keeping a close eye on that. We might be getting some stuff for free. I think I'm gonna start off with a nice farm run. Take the jackhammer out and make sure we get enough stuff and put the electric furnaces to work. Killed two. Not only them. Alright, good enough for me. Let's get out of here. Did you guys notice how that guy shot a DB at me from like a mile away? That was funny. There goes the guy I'm going for. It. Full send. Get out of here with that, he's looking pretty good. Not a bad round of stuff right there, got some, some grubbing guns, some water pipes. With all the farming and scrap I collected from kills, I now had enough resources to start finishing my base and enough scrap to research all the deployables I would need. I think we do just one ladder hatch there, because we do have the way up right here. So that'll kind of leave this bedroom area secured. We have a way through right there for mobility. Man, just look how cozy that is. That's beautiful. Oh yeah. That's beautiful. They got one more for right here. Ah, uh, I put that on the wrong side, damn it. Yeah. The base was coming along well, and unexpectedly turned into one of my favorite bases that I've built in a long time. But there was still some unfinished business to settle, and luckily for me, my satchels just got done crafting. Alright. Wish me luck. There we go, we're in. We'll go for this square right here. We're just gonna stand here and throw all 23.
<laughs> oh, that was that was that was a nice little explosion there. Now, these aren't bad satchels, man. These unicorn ones are working great. Here's someone outside. All right. We're sealed. And the base was left full open too, guys. Like this is insanely good for me. Tons of charcoal. Got mad people outside. All right, PC's down. Oh, I missed that box of sulfur there. Holy shit. Three, four, five, six, 12. 13, but we had like 14 some thousand sulfur. Damn, that's a good box of loot. Now we got a little food box. I don't mind the free tunas. All right, guys, I'm gonna put all this loot away here to make sure it's nice and clear outside. But I think that about marks the end of my wipe. I think, I think we're done here. I think we've done enough. I think we've done enough. If you enjoyed the video and want to watch more, be sure to check out one of the videos on the screen. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you there.